You know, Fluffy, it's really cold out here today. It seems to me like you really don't mind, do you? You don't mind the cold, but I'm bundled up like an Eskimo. So the fluffy poodle and I came all the way out here to the truck and we realized that we forgot the keys. Now we got to go all the way back inside and get the keys. Fluffy, break. Hey, we got the keys. We got the keys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O, and I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish, purplish, aquamarinish hair. We have to move the truck real quick and get ready to have some fun today. We got the truck moved. Come on, buddy. Oh, bad lighting right there, huh? Oh, you're excited, are you? Somebody's excited. I'm excited too. I'm just carrying all this stuff on my back or on my shoulder. It's really not that much. It's only about seven pounds. There it is. And you may ask what it is and how are we gonna have fun today? Mr. Fluffy Poodle has all of the stuff right here in this area. We have his Rig'em Right dog vest to keep him warm. Got a layout blind, and we also on this side have his layout blind. All right, Mr. Fluffy, here's a, here's a lot of the decoys, okay? We're gonna leave these alone today, but we're gonna shape these in a U. We're gonna shape them in a U right in front of us. Good stay, good boy. And set these right here. You see, all the decoys are set in like a U right there, okay? All of them are set in a U. The Fluffy Poodle says the reason why we do that is so the ducks can land in the middle of the U and gives them a location saying, hey, come on in right here. Hey Fluffy, you ready? I think I'm ready to really get this going and have some fun. So next up, we gotta put Mr. Fluffy in his little dog kennel um, blind. It's a duck blind for him. Fluffy, place. Isn't that awesome how he just lays down right there? Oh, a lot of hard work pays off. Now let's, uh have me jump into this duck blind and we explain some basic obedience and how you can improve with your service dog or your waterfowl dog. All right, gotta open this up. Oh, my bar came off, so I'll fix that when I step in. All right, my bar came off down in here. There's a little bar that makes this uh, stand up a little bit better. All right, pull this strap, pull this strap. Now I can lay back. And Fluffy's right there. I know, buddy, I know. So we spend a lot of time just like this. I'm sitting in my duck blind, he's sitting in his duck blind, and we just wait and wait and wait. Just spend some time like this. Sometimes we'll come out here and spend five minutes. Sometimes we'll spend 30 minutes. Just relax, enjoy nature. Now, the reason why we do this is like I said before, you know, you want your dog to go from zero to 100 when asked of them. So when it comes to service dog training, if you want them to do the task, uh, you, all, you always want them to stay calm, stay calm, basic obedience, basic obedience. And then when the task comes, they should be jumping right on it, breaking whatever they're doing and immediately go to what you want from them. Now, waterfowl hunting is kind of the same thing. We have him sit for sometimes minutes, sometimes hours. Sometimes you may go days without doing a retrieve, an actual real live retrieve. So we come out here and we train and we use toys like this bumper to entice them to have fun and keep entertaining and to make them really want to keep doing it and having the love for what was not just bred for this type of dog, but what he loves to do on the side. 
So I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration on what he does and I do while we're out here in the duck blind. Now bear with us, okay? We're not experts, but we sure do like to have some fun. All right, I, I'm not an expert caller. This is a duck call. This is a quack. <laughs> That was a feeder chuckle where a duck's eating, you know, where their mouth is like chopping in the water and they're eating at the same time and they're trying to talk. So they're like, dugga, 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 dugga. So that's what we, that's what we do with this call. We go, dugga, dugga. Dugga, 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 dugga. Yeah. And then the quack. The hail call. Yeah, and then we put that all together, okay? Well, we're gonna put that all together. We'll throw this toy. We'll quack. We'll say, get him. We'll throw the toy, clap our hands, say, Fluffy, yes. And then he'll go get it, come back, and we'll hide again, okay? So let's pretend that there's some ducks. Fluffy, you ready? All right. This is, we're, we're gonna act like it's really live, okay? Hanging out, hanging out in the duck blind. Oh, just hanging out. Yep, just hanging out. Oh, duck's coming, duck's coming. Love you, place. Fluffy, yes! Come on. Good boy! Good boy, good boy. Fluffy, place! Come on. <laughs> First time. I love it, I love it. That's my dog. He's doing so good. He's doing so good. You see that one retriever? He did two of them. Oh, he's such a good boy. It was actually two of them they did too. Working on that one. Um, it's a little bit different when it's live out there. Next up is hold training. Hold training for service dogs and waterfowl dogs. Like, it's very important. Let's explain it. Fluffy, break. Let's go. All right, Fluffy, you ready? Place. Sit. So now we're ready to do that hold training that we were talking about. Oh, you wanted a high five? I know, we already told him hi, but we'll tell him hi again. I know, you want some loving. Stay. All right, we're going to do that hold training like we were talking about. Now, some of you may ask, like, what is that hold training and what are you talking about? How can a service dog and a waterfowl dog have some things in common with holding things. Well, it's absolutely imperative and key that when a service dog is asked to hold something or pick up, they're not chomping on it and they're not biting down or ruining the object or playing with it. They're doing exactly what is asked of them. That's pretty much what a waterfowl dog does also. They have to bite down on what is asked for them in a controlled manner, not eating, not playing with it, not anything and hold it for out 
uh, to coming back and then release on command or hold it till however long we ask them. So we're gonna show you. Fluffy bites. Now, if your dog starts biting or starts, you know, dropping it, it's very easy to get your dog to hold it longer. And that's putting your hand right under their chin. You want their chin to be at a 90 degree, okay? When you're training, all right? Because when they lower their head, they're gonna start dropping, okay? Fluffy out. Good boy, good boy. What you're gonna do is have them go ahead and bite the toy, okay? And if they start going down, you're just gonna lift your hand just like this higher. Every time, just keep going higher. Fluffy bites. Good. Good. Give him some praise. Good. 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 Ah. Good. 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 Uh -huh. See, it started to go a little too low, and I want him. I want him right here. I praise him. Good. When he does what's asked, up, uh, I stopped praising, correct it, good. Praise him again, out. You see, it's literally that easy. And you know, you're like, well, how does that work with a service dog? Well, starts with this. Then it can go from a pencil to a sock to a shoe or whatever okay you, you don't believe me i mean check this out no matter you start with this and for waterfowl you transition to a dove or a duck or a geese or goose or and then with a service dog you transition to other things like medical equipment or getting retrieves on certain things so let's let's start off with a suck bite stay hold in a controlled manner. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Out. Next up is the pencil. Bite, hold. In a controlled manner. Out. See, I dropped it there. Next up, a shoe. Bite. Hold in a controlled manner. Out. I mean, this is very, very basic service dog task doing things like this. And very basic when it comes to waterfowl holding, okay? When you start adding in all the distractions, when we're out there and adding in everything and adding in the blind, adding in the duck calls, adding in the decoys, adding in the cold, adding in the dog vest. You know, when it comes to service dogs, adding in the distractions when you're out in public, sirens going on, little kids around, noises, unexpected bangs, unexpected all this, all sorts of craziness, right? You still want your dog to perform the task at hand, but it all starts with stuff like this so you can graduate to bigger and better things so your dog can be the world's best waterfowl dog or your dog can be the world's best service dog. Now, if you don't want to be the world's best, that's fine. But we all should have a standard and we all should live by it. A lot of this today that we just wanted to show you is waterfowl, do waterfowl dogs and service dogs have a lot of things in common. And we're very grateful to have Mr. Fluffy do some of the things that he loves to do on the side. And that's go out and chase them ducks and geese. You're like, I know, I just went down and you want to go play. I know, I know. You just want to love me. I want to love you too. <laughs> that's my boy. That's my boy. But on a for real note, not everything's all rainbows and butterflies. I do struggle, but this is how I get out and get away. We love the outdoors. You want to go? All right. Let's end this video, buddy. Let's end this video. And drum roll and the head tilt. Oh,
Look at you with the head tilt. Uh, I hope you guys had an amazing time. I know myself and Mr. Fluffy Poodles sure did. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish, purplish, teal hair. Oh, y'all want to say goodbye already? All right. Y'all have a good day. High five. Bye-bye. Shake it like a salt, shake it, shake it like a salt, shake it, shake it like a salt, shake it. Woo, woo. And on a for real note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that we can show you guys that with disabilities doesn't mean that you can't follow your dreams. Sometimes you may struggle every now and then, but that doesn't stop you. You can and will achieve greatness in life. Never stop. Never give up. Follow them dreams no matter what it takes.